So we're getting closer to season four for Warzone upcoming, and we've still got a lot on the horizon for that. Some discussions starting later this weekend again, but we're finally winding down on some of our Modern Warfare 2 coverage now a week later after the reveal. We've got a little bit more to talk about and we'll discuss over the coming days, but today I wanted to take a different direction a bit. We've talked a lot about what's upcoming in Modern Warfare 2, so today I wanted to kind of cover all the bases and talk about 10 things that it won't have, or at least that Modern Warfare 2 won't have at launch. So that said, drop your thoughts below. Are you disappointed that any of these things may not be making it into Modern Warfare 2? Anything you're hoping comes shortly after launch? Because some of these have been left open-ended, and there is a chance for the future. But what if the case, drop your thoughts below. But if you enjoyed the video, do me a favor and drop a like on it. And if you're new to the channel, do be sure to subscribe button to stay up to date with all things Modern Warfare 2, and of course, Warzone and Season 4 here upcoming next week. We've got a lot to talk about in the near future, Season 4 and some big changes to Warzone and everything in between, and also mixed in with other Modern Warfare 2 discussions. There's a lot to talk about and a lot to stay on top of in the COD scene lately. So if you're just enjoying the community and joining us on that road to half a million subscribers, I'd love to have you. That said, let's jump into it. So firstly, this video as a sort of just housekeeping thing is going to be more focused on higher level items, bigger picture things. Of course, things like DLC weapons, maps, modes, and seasonal offerings, they're not going to be in Modern Warfare 2 at launch because launch is when the base game is being offered. That stuff is seasonal and coming afterwards for a reason. None of the things here we're discussing are going to be like that. If any of them are introduced at a later point, they're not going to be simply seasonal content. So let's start out with one that personally I'm a little bummed to hear about. Number one, theater mode is not coming within Modern Warfare 2. This was confirmed by Infinity Ward, but it stated that it could be something implemented broadly in the franchise in the future. So they're not entirely ruling it out, but it's also a non-answer on that second part. So do I expect it to come? No, but I'd be more than happy if I was proven wrong and it was introduced at some point in Modern Warfare 2. I like not having to record every game or have flashback settings either on console with my Elgato or anything for my NVIDIA Shadow Play as a creator, and I get it, it's a very niche thing to include in a game. Like, I'm sure that you and I may care about theater mode, but again, compared to the Weekend Warriors, which that demographic dwarfs the hardcore players like you or I that watch or even create content on the game, it's not a feature that they would use. So with that, and then the arguments in the past of how it messes with connection or whatever you may have heard back then, it's just something that doesn't look to be coming to the game. Number two, gunfight isn't going to be in Modern Warfare 2 at launch. That's where we can strike our first asterisk here with this. At launch is the key part with this. This will be added post-launch, and I'm not entirely sure why, but Charlie Intel reported that launch will be focusing more so on new modes mixed with, of course, the classics like TDM, Domination, Search and Destroy, all that kind of stuff, but making way for those new modes of, like, Knockout and Prisoner Rescue. But that also kind of throws a wrench in the rumor that we'll see a gunfight 2v2 alpha if you think about it like we did in Modern Warfare 2019. If the mode isn't even going to be there at launch, I doubt that we'd end up seeing it in an alpha state earlier than anything else we'll see in the game. At that point, if there would be an alpha, I'd kind of would expect it to be Knockout or Prisoner Rescue. So while that was never officially touched on, it was just a rumor going out there, it might be something to consider that that might not be happening now either. Number three, another thing that is not coming to Modern Warfare 2 is zombies. Now, that might be a no-brainer for you. That's usually more so Treyarch's territory. Of course, we ended up seeing Infinite Warfare zombies. A lot of people loved that. A lot of people hated it. But we just haven't seen anything in regards to a zombies mode from Infinity Ward for quite some time. And it's never really been their main focus with it, but it's something that with every single new game, there's always that question, so a little more straightforward answer, nothing really more to talk about. Zombies will not be in the game. Now, number four, though, this is where it gets kind of weird in that regard to the third game mode. Right now, it's looking like that rumored third game mode of DMZ is not going to be in Modern Warfare 2, at least at launch. Now, we have to start this part of the discussion by opening up and stating that DMZ has never even once been officially acknowledged. The closest things that we have I've seen are the describing words of open world and sandbox thrown around here and there, but nothing ever explicitly talking about DMZ. And this is probably the biggest and weirdest thing that's come out of this sort of enlightening period of new information coming out about Modern Warfare 2 now post reveal. Where the breadcrumb trail for this kind of starts is in a since deleted Infinity War job listing for their studio in Poland, in which there was a job description listed looking for a narrative director for Infinity Ward's unannounced open world RPG title. That then was quoted in a since deleted deleted tweet from insider Ralph's Valve that said this job was for DMZ. And to make this even stranger is that, of course, we had this thought that DMZ would be that third game mode for Modern Warfare 2 all along. However, it was reported out of the reveal information that Spec Ops will be returning in Modern Warfare 2, with more information on the co-op mode being announced at a later date. So, it might seem like DMZ is kind of that Warzone offering where it drops post-launch and is something much larger. 
maybe that does mean it's something indicative of a free-to-play nature come later on down the line like warzone was but we'll have to wait and see how that all works out right now that is a whole jumbled mesh though and is something that is incredibly confusing but seems like dmz will not be included in modern warfare 2 at launch now next number five here we're not going to be seeing 10 attachments within modern warfare 2. in fact we're not going to see five we're not going to see 10. the number itself actually isn't quite known yet the way that the gunsmith was shown off to myself other creators and other press in our pre-briefing we already broke this down in a video here on the channel last week if you guys want to check it out in depth we have recreations of what it actually looks like in that video but what it seemed like is that you have multiple attachments in different variations you have attachments and then weapon parts attachments there were like six or seven categories you could choose from but you could only choose upwards of three and then you also had four weapon parts that more so being like the actual weapon builds themselves and variations of things you could end up working with those it seemed like you could end up equipping all four so potentially upwards of seven attachments that you could end up working with in modern warfare 2 but if you're worried about an over inundation of attachments here like we saw with vanguard don't worry about it we're not going to see 10 attachments with modern warfare 2. now after that we're going to more so switch over into some more generalized stuff some more things that don't necessarily deal with gameplay itself or not so much and again some more top down stuff number six we will not see our skins transfer within modern warfare 2. anything that you have in modern warfare 2019 black ops cold war vanguard none of that stuff operators weapon skins blueprints and everything like that will not transfer over into modern warfare 2 nor will it transfer over into warzone 2. this is something that modern warfare 2 and warzone 2 are being stated to be that sort of full reset that era of modern warfare 2019 to vanguard and warzone 1 is own little unique bubble and stuff that seems like you'll be able to still progress and unlock things there even going into the future where you have both simultaneously the warzone one and warzone two experiences they just won't cross over that's something that's been a very hot topic of discussion and honestly I don't know which way I lean one way or the other. I think it'd be really cool to have those things continue on. I mean, Warzone was that sort of main pillar that they marketed the entire way through, but at the same time, it's a new experience. Warzone 1 to Warzone 2 is essentially like taking your annual releases. You don't have those things transfer over from, say, Black Ops 4 into Modern Warfare 2019. Instead, you're just kind of elongating those windows in which things are usable, transferred from premium titles into the Warzone shared experience. So. I'm kind of up in the air here with this one. It'd be really cool, but I understand where that is. And of course, if they are upgrading some of the tech, some of the way that even blueprints fundamentally work, you wouldn't be able to use that without having to retroactively adjust hundreds of thousands of items, bring those over into Warzone 2. So full reset does make sense in that regard. Number seven, the next thing that we will not see here with Modern Warfare 2 is next-gen exclusivity. A lot of people thought that we'd maybe end up seeing Modern Warfare 2, Warzone 2, finally make its way over and just be PlayStation 5, Xbox Series X and S, and PC. However, that's not the case. They ended up making this so that we will see backwards compatibility and ports for PlayStation 4, Xbox One, and any of the sort of like slim versions here of those. That console generation will still be supported, even though the game wasn't made with that as a priority. So therefore, it's not going to be holding back the game's potential, but instead will just be an offering accommodating those that are still unable to get their hands on an air quote next gen, though I think at this point we can say current generation console of PlayStation 5, Xbox X and S and or a PC. While that may upset some people, statistically speaking, last gen is still the vast majority of what players play on. So not only just for the simple fact of making sure that as many players as possible don't miss out on these upcoming experiences, it's also something that I'm pretty sure they would absolutely lose their lid if they lost out on that revenues. Outside of that, next thing up on the list, number eight, we will not see any campaign missions that really look to sort of hit that shock factor. It's been reported that there are no missions like no Russian. We ended up seeing that that was one of the talking points with Modern Warfare 2018 that it was a gritty dark campaign and that we'd see some missions kind of akin to that though when I look back I don't really think of anything that was really that I don't know the word really to describe it would be like disturbing or messed up there were some messed up parts in Modern Warfare 2019's campaign for sure but nothing that was like over the top or something that I thought would be a talking point in the mainstream news cycle for days to weeks on end but Modern Warfare 2 has explicitly stated that we won't see anything like that so take that how you will number nine we will not see game pass support here in regards to Modern Warfare 2. that's something that a lot of people have questioned if we will see this be something that Microsoft kind of takes over right now I think 
that it was said that it was rumored that deal looks to close if all things go well, the Microsoft acquisition of Activision sometime in June of next year. So not only one, will Microsoft not have the rights to Call of Duty at that point, but also not only just this game, but I think the next game as well is rumored that will still be under that Sony and Activision contract, that exclusivity and rights deal that Microsoft has stated they intend to end up upholding. So maybe in 2025, we end up seeing some Game Pass support for games retroactively, but Modern Warfare 2 will not be available via Game Pass with this launch. And finally, to round out things on a little bit more of a tame note, destructible environments in multiplayer like Vanguard introduced will not be in Modern Warfare 2. I know that's something that a lot of people did not like personally. I mean, it's cool, but I also think it's kind of corny. I don't really like it within multiplayer. So glad to see that that is reverting back and we won't see that at all either. But that said, that's 10 things we will not be seeing here within Modern Warfare 2, at least at launch. Again, some of these may have some open-ended parts where they could make their way into the game post-launch, but for right now, they don't look to be coming. So that said, drop your thoughts down below. Are you guys upset, happy that any of these things are not coming? Whatever the case, drop your thoughts down below. But if you enjoyed the video, do me a favor and drop a like on it. And if you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button so you don't miss a single thing regarding all things Modern Warfare 2. And of course, even upcoming, some Warzone Season 4 stuff. So if you're interested in any of that, make sure you hit the subscribe button. But thanks so much for watching. I'll see you guys later. Take care and peace.